Once upon a time, there was a woodcutter who worked hard every day. He lived happily, mainly because he was so deeply in love with his wife, and was so happy to have a newborn son. His wife also worked very hard, and made sure that everyone was always taken care of. The woodcutter loved to see his wife smile, so sometimes he would bring her back little gifts, such as pretty pink flowers, which the wife would happily wear. To make extra money, the newlywed couple also made shoes together. One day, the man noticed a rash near his wife's foot. The wife told the woodcutter not to worry, but as the days passed, he grew more curious and more worried about his wife. So he decided to follow her one day when she went to wash her feet. He couldn't believe his eyes. He saw that she not only had a rash near her feet, she also had unnatural webbed feet. He was so shocked, he let out a gasp, and his wife noticed him. His wife then sat down with him and sadly explained everything. She is a kappa. And she used to watch the woodcutter every day, coming and going from the forest. She found him so charming that she decided to take on a human form so she could meet him. The only part she couldn't change was her feet, which were irritated by being on dry land. The woodcutter was quick to tell his wife that he didn't care that she was a kappa, and that he wanted to stay together. But his wife still seemed distraught. The next day, the man went to the woods like usual, but when he came back, his wife was gone, leaving only him and the baby. Every day, the woodcutter would take his son to the river and call out for his wife, but she would never respond. And as the boy grew older, he had trouble running like the other kids because his feet always hurt. So the other children would make fun of him for being so slow. The woodcutter knew there was a problem, and was doing everything he could to try and fix it. He would rub medicine on his son's feet every night to help them heal, and he would constantly make new shoes in hopes that the right pair would help his son's feet. But nothing worked, and he grew sadder by the day. One day, he fell asleep by the river and had a vision of his wife telling him to take his son. And go to a nearby shrine to pray. So he did just that, and after they finished their prayer, they found a new pair of shoes. The son tried on the shoes, and for the first time in his life, his feet no longer hurt, and he could now run faster than all the other children, and would continue to grow up healthy and strong.